Hey, this is Kathy, Crowder's Mountain, North Carolina. You see this pretty barn quilt we're going to make today? I hope you'll join me and subscribe and hit the like button. And the way I do it is I show you the pat, I show you the barn quilt. Now I'm going to draw the pattern so that you'll know how to draw it. And then I'll let you take a snapshot of the pattern so you can have it. And, well, screenshot, and you can print it out, and that way you'll have it. And this is the, the one that I've painted after I drew out that pattern. I painted this one, and the name of it is Jackson Star. Now, there's a couple variations. Well, more than a couple, actually. There's another one that's called... Um, Captive Beauty, Heavenly Stars, All Hands Around. Uh, there's several, several variations of this one. But the one with the complete stars here, the four complete stars, is called a Jackson Star. And so that's the one that we're going to draw today. So let's get started. Okay, let's get to drawing our pattern. Now, for this pattern, we need eight blocks. And I'm drawing this one on a 24 by 24. So eight into 24 is three. So we're gonna make a tick mark. And you see I take that paper down because it keeps flying away with me. We're just going to make our tick mark. We're going to make sure our ruler is even on both sides. And then we're going to make a tick mark every three inches. Those three, six, nine, y'all can count. <laughs> 12, 15, 18, and 21. And then there's the last one. So that's eight. That'll give us eight blocks. Now I'm going to speed this up. But I'm going to go around all four sides making my tick marks every three inches. And then I'm going to connect my tick marks. So I'll speed this up so you can see what I'm doing, but you don't have to sit here for 30 minutes while I'm doing that. Okay, we've got it. We've got our grid. We've got eight blocks up, eight blocks across. And you see where I made a couple of, <laughs> if this had been my board, I would have erased that out, but it's just the pattern, so I'm okay. And my finger got in the way somewhere around here. So I got a little curve in it. But anyway, let's just draw our pattern. Okay, one block at a time is what we're going to do. So we don't have anything in this block. We're on the first row. And you'll see how simple this one is to draw. It's just real simple. But it turns out to be so pretty. There's nothing in these two. And person that I'm actually painting this one for chose the colors that's on her porch. So you can do that too. 
you can choose springtime colors, fall colors. Right. I broke my own rule. I went on up there to the third line, but let's just do the second line. All right. Sorry about that. That way you could take a bunch of screenshots if you wanted to. Like you, you could take this first row and take another one when I get through with the second row. I don't think you'd need to do that though, but you can. Whatever is going to help you draw this out, if you want to do it, you do it your way. There's the second row. Here's the third row. And when you see we get through, we're going to have four stars, four complete stars with a box in the middle. Okay. And it actually is going to make four diamonds in here too. But if you'll just take one block at a time, you'll you'll get there. This almost uh, reminds you of the one that I did. The previous video, the one that I did was a carpenter wheel. It, it kind of reminds you of that when you're drawing it out. But it's not. <laughs> All right, now we're on the fourth one. There's nothing in that block. So the second block. And... nothing in that one. So we're now up on our fifth row. That one's blank. See how this is look, going to look like three diamonds in a row. And that one's blank. You see that? It, you, you, it's hard, hard to see it when you're looking at the painted barn quilt. But if you stare at it long enough, you will see how you, you have eight blocks. And you'll see how these designs start taking shape once you do one block at a time. Now, you don't have to do one block at a time. You see how all three of those went together and this one? And then we'll have one up through here. But to, like I say a hundred times, to show you guys how to do it, I'm taking it one block at a time. Okay, we're up on the sixth row now. Can you guess what that's going to be? It's going to be another diamond.
right up on the seventh row. Let's scoot it down over there. I scooted it down so you could see what I was doing. All right, look here at us. We're almost finished drawing this pattern. There you go. Now, if you wanted to have a border in here, you can do that. I've got three inch, three, three inch blocks all the way across. That was 24. But if I wanted to have like, um, I need something I can divide eight into. Well, you could have one inch border all the way around and divide eight into 22. And you just find that spot on your ruler and just make three even, I mean, make eight even blocks, no matter how big your border is. You know, if you had a two inch border, you, you would take four away from the 24 and divide eight into 20. Wouldn't be even blocks, but you can find that. What would that be? I don't know. Three and a, two and a half. I'm not sure. You have to do the math. But you could do that. Design it your way and then just find eight even blocks. That makes sense. Kathy's doing it old school this way here. <laughs> I'm not putting a border on it. Okay, so here's your pattern. Take a screenshot of it. And I, I'm not going to color in these spots because I have so many different colors that I'm going to put on here. And I'll show them to you when I'm finished. Okay, here is your Jackson Star. According to the Kansas City Star, this is a Jackson Star. See you later. I'll be back. So I've got my pattern on my board. I'm not sure you could see that. I darkened it up a little so you could see. And I'm ready to start painting, and I'll be back when I'm finished. All right, so now let me tell you the colors that I used. For this very dark color here, you can see I had two or two and three points on the stars and then right here 
I used Royal Navy Satin. Now these, these are all Valspar. All right, then for this color, and I had maybe two, three, it's the duller color, not dull, but the different shade here. <laughs> that color, I used Colonial Blue, which is a beautiful color. It worked really well with that navy. Now, the brighter blue right here, not too bright, but it's a little bit different shade than the Colonial. I used Dresent 2. Now, for this lighter blue, I used Cameo Blue. And for the light blue, there was just four of those blocks, I used Aerial View. Now, most of my paints are semi-gloss. Sometime, you know, back when the paint shortage was happening, you couldn't get semi-gloss, so I'd have to get satin, which I like that too, because I put um, polyurethane on top of mine, and it's always either satin or semi-gloss, so it gives it a little shine too. Okay, so for the this darker brown color here, 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 so there's eight little triangles. I use Delta Sandbar. Now you you can imagine all kind of different colors that you can use here. I'm just telling you what I used. And so for the lighter brown here, here, and here, I used Acorn Top. And for my White. I didn't want the bright white. Now you could have used, you can use bright white, but I didn't want to. I, I wanted to kind of uh, tone that down a little bit because I wanted my blue to pop out more. And more my blues and blues <laughs> instead of blue. I used polish ivory, which is a pretty off-white color. So that's the colors that I used. So I ended up with eight colors. Now, if you don't have eight colors, take your blue, your darkest blue, put a little white in it, paint another one, put another little bit of white in it, paint another one. You can just keep lightening it up till you've got all these different, you won't have these exact shades of blue, but you'll have four or five different shades if that's what you want. And for your brown, you can do the same thing. Take your brown and lighten it up, and you'll have these. All right. Let me get the pattern one more time. And let you take another shot of that. And that uh, Jackson Star actually came from the Kansas City Star. Do y'all remember? Um, I don't, because I wasn't born in 1930-something, but the Kansas City Star used to put a quilt pattern out, and I'm, I'm not sure if it was monthly or weekly, but this came from, from that newspaper. And I've got a big dahlia that I'm going to do in a couple of videos coming up that came from there. And it was actually, uh, I've got the, I don't have the original clipping, I've got a picture of the clipping, and that's what I'm gonna go by, so good luck, <laughs> right? <laughs> You'll have to help me on it. All right. You can tell me what color you want that dahlia to be, because I've been looking online and they're all beautiful. It's just hard to imagine what color to make it. Anyway, hit the like button, uh, thumbs up button, and the subscribe button, and a notification bell, and I'll see you all in the next video.